What is the wildest story you've ever heard from neighbors about your ham radio? What have you been accused of or heard others, other ham radio operators that you live nearby or in your club or something like that? What's the weirdest story you've ever heard about how your ham radio is causing interference? This one caught my eye. This is another Reddit post, so check this out. This actually comes from Reddit, but it is a repost. Somebody posted on Reddit. It's a repost from a Nextdoor ad. Now, we have Nextdoor in our area. My wife gets on there sometimes, and she tries to... She uses the buy-sell thing sometimes, and she gets, like, weather reports and and news reports, whatnot. But what a bunch of crybabies on Nextdoor. I I refuse to install the app. I had it installed several years back, and... Oh my gosh. I mean, if you really want to see a dumpster fire of, you think Facebook groups are bad. Wow. There's some wild stuff on Nextdoor and a lot of it, I mean, you wonder if people just sit around and make this stuff up for drama. I don't don't know. But here's a good story that I found that I thought was interesting. Lady on Nextdoor making some wild claims about radio operators. Now, it sounds like this guy who posted this is not even not even ham, which is cool. There's there's people posting in this uh, amateur radio subreddit that, and they'll say they're not hams. So he says, uh, according to this woman, trees that brush up against your antennas can broadcast signals through their roots to other trees and can cause you to hear everyone's conversation, which apparently is filled with some illegal activities with youngins. We'll get to that here in a minute. Now, I'm not experienced with ham, he says. This is the original poster. But I do regularly use CB, and the fact that she didn't mention Mark Sherman makes me think that perhaps she needs a visit to the sixth psychiatrist. Okay, but am I wrong? Can trees do what she's claiming that they can do with ham radio? Okay, so yeah, uh, once again, I've said it in a couple of videos before. I'm like, no one calls it a ham. It's called a radio. A ham is something you eat at Thanksgiving or Christmas, okay? And if you're not smoking your ham, then you're probably cooking it wrong. So it's not called a ha- ham radio is, 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 a, is a slang term. Amateur radio is the proper term uh, per the FCC, ARRL, ITU, IARU, and these guys. Amateur radio. But we call it ham radio for slang, which there's nothing insulting about calling it ham radio. But no one calls a radio a ham. A ham is a piece of meat. So I'm going to read this. And I want to say that I've read through this already. And I want to say that... I am not making fun of this lady. I don't know who this lady is. I have no idea. Okay. And presumably she's serious. It could be a joke. It could be she's joking around or maybe it's maybe it's a dude joking around pretending to be a woman. I don't know. But I don't think there's a lot of comments in this thread that are making fun of her. But there's a lot, lot of other comments that are sympathetic to her. There seem to be some psychiatric issues going on here, which she talks about. She brings up the facts. So let's look at this. And I'm interested to see what you guys think about this. And I want to know what the weirdest thing you've ever heard. The weirdest thing you've ever heard about ham radio doing. In other words, what if, what accusation has been made that a ham radio will do that you know for a fact it won't? So as some of you know, I've been hearing some pretty disturbing things in my neighborhood lately. Well, for the last five years anyway. I have been the psychiatrist, several of them now actually, and it has been determined as of right now I am not schizophrenic. So how am I hearing these things then? Okay, as soon as I read that, I'm like, okay, either this is somebody, somebody playing around and just causing drama, or perhaps they have real mental issues. And if that's the case, again, I'm sharing this because I want to ask the question of... What's the weirdest thing you've ever heard? Okay, so we're going to keep reading him. I think I figured it out today, and I have asked a friend of mine who has the equipment to give a shout out to our local area repeaters running CB and ham radio, H-A-M-M radio. You don't have CB repeaters? I've never seen a CB repeater. I always thought it would be cool to set up a repeater on 11 meters. I'm not sure that there's any legality behind it. Maybe there is. Now that CB has FM, now that 11 meter FM is legal in the United States... Maybe we could set up an 11 meter repeater. I don't know. What's the legal term behind that? I don't even know. I haven't even looked it up. I always thought it'd be cool to have a repeater on CB back in the day when I was running a lot of AM CB. But she says, local repeaters running CB and ham radio antennas to please check to see if their trees have gotten tangled up in them. As I noticed, one of the neighbors has an antenna making contact with their trees. Physical contact, not that the... Not that the antenna is talking to the tree. At least I don't think that's what it means. She says the the antenna is making physical contact with the tree, so the trees are gro- tree roots are growing around it, or maybe there's an antenna leaning up in a tree, something like that. 
I'm not entirely sure if this works the same way as it does with AM broadcasting towers. Whatever organic material comes into contact with the antenna, it behaves as an amplifier and speaker. Um, no. Since the kind of trees we have in our neighborhood have an underground network of connected root systems, it's entirely possible that this could be the source of the voices that not, not only I, but others can hear. So please, if you have these antennas and base systems, check your trees and antennas. Make sure the power is turned off from your antennas before trimming any suspect branches. We don't need crispy critters that used to be friendly, uh, friend and family, if you get where I'm coming from. In other words, she didn't want any squirrels or something dying, okay? Because the antenna is transmitting. It has been proven, no it hasn't, that trees can be used to power low energy lightning and speakers. So I'm putting my money on this being the cause of everyone's unhappiness locally here in Valley Junction. Side note. And if you click on side note, she goes on to talk about how there are, there is some trafficking and, and uh, minors and children going on and that's the topic of conversation that she's hearing supposedly coming through the in, through the trees because the trees are touching the antennas and the trees are acting as amplifiers okay antenna building can be fun radio transmitter building can be fun anything that you want to see brought to life any of your ideas that you want to see brought to life head over to pcbway.com and check out their professional grade cnc machine printing 3d printing board circuit design board printing of all various styles and sizes pcbway.com is sponsoring this video today so if you go over there and order something from them i'd like to know how your experience goes some of the m17 guys are starting to order boards from pcb way and they've been really happy with them so far so i'd like to know how your experience goes but if you do order from them be sure to thank them for sponsoring ham radio 2.0 so i first read this and i'm like wow this would make a good story and we can get a good laugh out of it but no i don't want to do that i don't i don't want to do that i think it's uh and if you go read some of these comments down here like i said a lot of them are very sympathetic this one right here worst thing i ever talked about on ham radio was convincing some lady she wasn't schizophrenic by connecting the antenna of my radio to a tree in her backyard She's at least concerned about her fr uh, friend's family and neighbors trimming trees that make contact an antenna. Misinformed and a little ignorant, but not spiteful or hateful. Yeah, that's probably true. So these, these, uh, th yeah, this guy says schizophrenic. Spoiler alert, there is no psychiatrist. Okay, yeah. So leaving that aside for the moment, I hope that this lady is seeking professional help. But let's talk about the topic at hand. Let's not talk about her. No, trees do not retransmit or amplify your antenna. Okay, your antenna is not amplified. Technically speaking, your radio and your amplifier transmit on a coax to the antenna and the radiating signal comes from the radio itself. So you've got a radio, maybe an amplifier after the radio. You don't have to have one. Radio, coax leading from the radio to the antenna and the tr antenna is transmitting the signal out. The antenna itself doesn't transmit. The antenna itself is often just a wire. It could be aluminum, it could be metal, it could be plastic of some sort, it could be a stranded wire of, uh, covered by insulation, it could be a bare wire. You can make antennas out of anything. Ham radio operators often have fun trying to see what we can make antennas out of. So it's, it's kind of a thing that, hey, say, will this antenna, and you try to hook your coax to something that might or might not act as a good antenna. But trees are made of wood, organic material, vines. These are not conductive elements. So no, your trees are not going to retransmit data or anything like that. She's hearing voices. I don't know where they're coming from, but I will, I will not speculate. I'm not licensed to speculate on that. But I am licensed in the world of ham radio, and I can tell you that what she's saying here is not possible. One time Callum had, I think he talked about this on a live stream. He had someone in his neighborhood that was complaining about interference from his radio transmissions when he was running the radio. And I don't remember the exact story. You might ask Callum about it. He was talking about it on one of the live streams he appeared on. But something about how the radio signals, when you talk, when I talk on the radio now, I key down and talk. Those radio si signals can kind of hang around the air and they can cause interference several hours after you've keyed the radio and after you're done with the radio and after you've moved on. Those radio signals will hang there in the air for a little bit and cause interference later on down the road. Um, no, no, they don't. That that's not possible. What this lady, what this Reddit post is saying, is not possible either. You're not going to cause interference by letting trees grow near your antenna. 
for the most part, you don't want trees growing near your antenna because if a big storm comes through or the tree collapses for whatever reason, you don't want it coming down on top of your antenna and damaging your antenna. You don't want your antenna coming down on top of your roof or your neighbor's roof and damaging that. Okay, so it's always wise to put up antennas outside of the area of tree branches and power lines and all that kind of good stuff just to keep everything from damaging your equipment and to keep stuff from hitting your equipment and making it fall over and damaging some, somebody else's equipment property or person you know if a person's standing in the backyard and your antenna comes down and hits someone on the head that's bad news but i want to hear what's the weirdest thing you've ever heard a ham radio causing you know some people say oh well yeah this guy's got a ham radio antenna so it's causing my car to start in the middle of the night or my horn to blare in the middle of the night or this or that or that whatever What's the weirdest thing you've ever been accused of or you heard someone been accused of because they have a ham radio in their backyard or a tower or an antenna in their backyard and they must be causing this weird interference that's happening over here and you're just like, that can't happen. Go get your ham radio license and you'll learn about how stuff actually works as far as radio transmissions, radio waves, bandwidth propagation signals, towers, antennas, and that kind of good stuff. If you like this video, check out these videos over here. 73 guys, thanks for watching today.